I was born in 1922. My parents were at school together. They got married with a curtain ring when they were five at school. And my father joined, he was an officer in the First World War. My mother was a nurse and midwife. And because he'd been in the army, he was offered a county council farm to rent. And he came down to West Cornwall from North Cornwall, where I was born. Um, I was one of a twin. The other twin was born dead. And I was so small that my father was ashamed for villagers to see me when I was born, because I was, as I say, I was so small. But I soon grew, na naturally. Um, I went to the village school for a term or two, and then I went to Camborne County School. And I had to walk about two miles on my own to catch the train. And I went with a girl called Joyce Eva. And uh, they were very happy days. I left school at 17. I started nursing when I was 18 in Truro, uh, where I did my general training. And then I did midwifery in Bristol. Uh, I went to a local dance when I was home, a young farmers club dance, with my brother, another young man, where I met my husband. I didn't know that he was looking at me, but apparently I went to the loo, and when I came out, he was standing outside. So <laughs> he introduced himself, and he said, uh, are you free on Saturday night? And I thought, no, I'm not going to be had like that. So I said, no, I'm not actually, but I am on Sunday. <laughs> well, we were married within a few months because his mother and father wanted to retire and go into Penzance, and I ended up at Basullo. Well, if anybody knew where Basullo was, it was a godforsaken spot, but it was lovely, and I enjoyed every moment of my life there. Um, I have, we had three daughters. Uh, one is living now in the f cottage we had, and the other two were in London. Uh, where am I now? Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm still living in Haymore. I'm nearly 93, but I'm still there. And, uh, well, I'm very happy there. What else can I say? I've had... Lester, do you remember uh, when we had a very bad blizzard. It was all snowed in. Your yes. Spoke, spoke on radio That's right. He did. That's right. That's right. He did. Yes, we had two bad snow attacks, snowstorms in Basello. And as you say, the second one, he did speak on the... Well, he, he walked to Pendine with a neighbour and to phone, I think, because we didn't have a phone then. But... Um, Yes, that's true, Margaret, yes. We were, we were in for that's right. We were, that's right. That's right, and I had a store of food in a larder outside the back door in a safe, as we call them then. And my neighbor's dog got in the habit of opening it, and he took all my food. I remember that very vividly. <laughs> um, did you have the deliveries at all, or was Yes, groceries. Yeah. Yes. And the children imitate me giving the order. Because I would say, oh, a pound packet of rice, I think. And he would say, yes. And he would go, go along the shelf. And I would say, yes, that would be very nice. And the children would imitate me. But anyway, they were delivered, and all was well. We were fed well. <laughs> We had water was all right, but we had electricity in 1952. And I used the cleaner, the Hoover, my new Hoover, and the electrician was still there. And he said, Mrs. Green, you needn't work quite as hard about that. You can stand up right and use that, you know. I was bending down nearly to the ground over it. I remember that. But that was a great thing. And we had to have six people who, who would have it. And I think my husband only had signatures from five. But in the end, the sixth person came in, so we had it, which was a great thing. Um, what else can I say? What about getting to and from uh, Penzance or St. Just 
uh, we drove I drove you had a vehicle and that's okay. yes yes okay. I learned to drive my husband did not teach me <laughs> I had an instructor who taught me and I passed the test the first time he said I think you're a very aggressive driver, Mrs. Green, but I have got to pass you. And I can see my husband walking towards us. He didn't know whether to smile or not, but uh, I did pass. All was well. And I took my mother and my mother-in-law out for a ride that night up the hill at St. Just, you know, and they both took out their teeth. I don't know what they thought I was going to do on that corner, but we got up to St. Just, all right, and back went the teeth. <laughs> Anything else? Yes, what about the war years? Um, how did that affect you in the Salon? Well, the same as any other farmer, really. I mean, we were short of food like everybody else was, but... Did you have that army girls there? No, no, we didn't. No, no, mm -hmm. no. Um, we had two or three workmen from the Pendine area and one from Madra. Um, we kept about 800 pigs. That was the main thing. Yeah. And every Monday morning, we, you know, loaded them, and I was always asked to help. And on the day I didn't come out, the children knew that, or the men knew that I was pregnant again, so they would look at each other and grin, you know, <laughs> as men do. Uh, what else can I say? Did you remember being snowed in in 72, was it? Not badly, no. No, we weren't. It wasn't as bad as the other two times. Well, I was employed by the, by the council on New Year's Eve to walk my digger. Yes. They the road up to the south and they get the tanker up there and empty the tanks. Really? It took me five days. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I didn't remember that we were sort of, it was as bad as the earlier. I worked five days, 12 hours a day. Really? Gosh, I know. See, they were very high hedges and it seemed to sort of, uh, you know, come over from the fields. Low hedges, I mean, and they came over from the fields into the road. Gosh, yes. But when did you send the pigs to be slaughtered? Yes. Where did you send the pigs? What to Camborne, to FMC. Whatever that it means, I can't remember, but what was it, John, FMC? That's right. Pat's Stock Marketing Board. That's right. <laughs> Did you have any local characters there doing uh, the solo that uh, were a bit eccentric or something? Anything like that? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Only us, I think. <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't think so. We were all very amiable, you know, everybody got on with everybody. But you see, sometimes in our yard, there would be about 16 children playing. Well, you see, that wouldn't be allowed these days, would it? And if a child was missing, it was my lot to go around all these milk tanks where we kept skim milk for the pigs with a stick to put in to see if there was a child in there. Oh, God. Oh, my dear. <laughs> what about annual festivals? Um, with Sunday or uh, feast days? Oh, yes, yes, yes. But actually in Basala, we didn't really keep up the feast. I don't know why. We were sort of between Madron and uh, St. Just, I think. But we always went to St. Just. Uh, when Basala Chapel closed, we went to St. Just Methodist Church, um, which was quite a way, really, six miles. Did use the corn mill there at Basala? No, no, no. No. I don't think that was in use in my time. Well, it's still being worked up to 1949, apparently. Oh. Uh, the gentleman who was uh, working there actually was killed in the machinery. Well, I think that was before that. If I'm, I thought that was quite a time before that. It wasn't in my time. I didn't think. Well, we'll check that one out. Yeah, I think that's... I think you're incorrect, well, not you're incorrect, but I think the fact is incorrect. Right, yeah. Okay, thank you. Can, can you tell us a bit about the Zalo Chapel and what it was like when it was operating and 
Oh, my dear, it was very, very, um, what's the word I want? Um, free and easy. Yes. You know. And, and did your husband, did Mr. Green, he... He, he played the organ. Yes. Not very well, I must say. <laughs> and he had a big collection of china. Yes, he did. Yes. Yes. I've still got that. But I'm waiting for it to be taken to Truro to the museum. Yep. Um, yes, Methodist uh, crested china from the county. That's right. You're reminding me of things that I've forgotten, actually. I shouldn't have. And that day, my husband ordered a tractor. So no more horses at Basala. <laughs> but he wasn't mechanically minded, really, but we had a tractor. Anything else? The children went into West Cornwall School as children, caught the bus. And um, if we missed the bus at one place, I had to chase it to another. And often he would go on and knew, knowing I was chasing him, he would still go on and not stop. <laughs> uh, Western hunts come out on your areas? Yes. Yeah. And they were always very good. They always closed the gates. Can't complain about them. Because <laughs> they had a name for leaving gates open, apparently, sometimes, but we didn't ever prove that. No, my husband welcomed them because it's, you know, the thing he thought should continue. Did you ever ride yourself, Esther? Did you ride at all? Did you ride? Not officially, no. When I was a child I did, but not officially. I didn't have riding lessons or anything. My husband, my brother and I used to ride a cart horse up the lane. <laughs> With no saddle, no nothing. Just catching hold of the mane. Oh my. <laughs> if you can imagine me now at 92 doing that, but still. <laughs> anything else? Remind me and I'll remember. Or remind me of something now. Well, well, I suppose Bazala must have been a bit of a community in its own right, was it? It was really, yes. 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 Mm. We were very close. Everybody looked after everybody. And, you know, it was a, a nice community. Yes. Because it is quite isolated there, isn't it? It is really. Many yes. Years. We were exactly a mile in from the main road. Yes. Mm. Of course, you've been a member of the WI for lots of years. Yes. Zip and I used to often walk out to the end of the road and Ines Truen would pick us up. Do you remember her? Yeah, I remember Ines. Yes. Yeah. yes. In that great car, do you remember? Yeah, great big car. Yes. And she was a terrible driver. Mm -hmm. Zip and I would sit in the back and, you know, wonder what was going to happen to us. <laughs> Could you tell us a bit about the WI in that road? Well, it was very active in those days, very good. Very nice, a very good WI, but it always has been, hasn't it, Margaret? Yes, and it still is now. Yes. We, I, mean, um, I don't go now, but, the biggest around, but I, think I think it is. Yes, it always has been very strong. Really? Yes. Oh, well, Mrs. Grice worked very hard about our WI, yes, didn't she? Yes, yes. We were fortunate in that. Of course, it's 100 years today. Yes. Really? That's right, yes, that's right. That's right. And we were the second, I think, Mark. No, no, we weren't we weren't formed for another three three years. Oh weren't we? Oh I always thought we were That's right. I knew it was something like that. That's right. That's right. We were formed in the morning. And we were formed and the after the afternoon. That's right. We're all this by a few hours. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Anything else you want to ask me? I'm now living in Haymore. I've been there longer than I was on the farm. Um, Did you go from the Solo to Haymore? Yes, right. yes. To the house we're in now. Mm. And, and what about how many grandchildren do you have? Six. Six. Um, three boys. Wait a minute, what have I got? Uh, two girls and four boys. And the other way around, I got two boys and, have, and, four and you've just been, just been abroad, haven't you? 
you? Yes, I've been to my grandson's wedding in France, south of France. And um, my son-in-law wasn't very well, so my daughter stayed home with him for another day, and he didn't come, and she came on afterwards. And I went to France with my two grandsons. And they'd hired a car, and they, we, the, the garage was adjoining the airport, so we got in this car, huge car, and the two boys were in the front. I thought, well, this is it now, you know. I shall never live through this. And they drove right down through the south of France, 90 odd miles we went, and they were absolutely marvelous. How adaptable young people are, aren't they? Driving the other side of the road and, you know, chatting away as if they were in England. I was amazed at that and very relieved, I'll tell you, <laughs> to get out of that car alive. <laughs> the wedding was lovely. The weather was ideal. We had our meal out at midnight, or up to midnight, in the open. It was wonderful, lovely experience. And all but the families were there, were they? Most of your family there? Yes, my daughter at Basolo didn't go, but the rest of us did. Yes, we were there. And my other daughter joined us the day after, so that was all right. Um, no, it was wonderful. I'd go again if I had the chance, but I don't suppose I shall have the chance again. So if any of you are going to France, you can ask me to go with you. <laughs> hint, hint, hint. <laughs> Anything else you want to know? As my son-in-law, one of my sons-in-law said when he was married, I'm not a public speaker, because he came from Lincolnshire. I'm not a public speaker. Well, I'm not a public speaker either. <laughs> 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 Anything else you want to know? You can ask me what you like, more or less. <laughs> and you know, that I must tell you this really, it's so sweet. The first time I met Lennox, he took off his hat and we shook hands. And when we said goodnight, he shook hands again. And for two or three meetings, he, we shook hands. See, sweet, wasn't it? Or I think it was. Yes. After that, I won't, we didn't shake hands. <laughs> yeah, well, from Basolo. From Basolo. He was. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Well, I'm taking up a lot of time. Where your children go? Pardon? What school did your West Cornwall. Cornwall. Yes. Yes. That's the Methodist school. Yes. And when it closed, um, I only had one daughter there, and she went to the grammar school then, where she was head girl. Deborah went to the grammar school. Oh, and Margaret went to the sixth form, that's right. And Olivia had already left school, and she was in the bank. She was useful in the bank because she knew a lot of local people, apparently. <laughs> Anything else? Did you ever come down to the chapel at Madrid? No, we didn't for some reason. I don't know why. If we went anywhere different, it would have been St. Just Methodist Church. But I now go to Haymoor, but now I'm not driving, but we did always motor from Haymoor to St. Just too. But as I say, now I'm not driving, I'm very happy at Haymoor. You still go to Wesley Rock, do you? Yes. What do you think about selling, selling part of it all? Well, it's a good thing I'm not on the committee because I don't agree with it. Apparently it went for a song. Yeah, did it? I've never been told how, well, I don't know if... It went quite cheap, I don't know. Yes, it's a shame. Should never, I was always brought up to um, never sell an asset until you really need to. Is that right? Yes. Is that right, you gentlemen? Yes. yes. <laughs> 
Well, I think you two have got a bit more than you bargained for, haven't you? <laughs> You're not recording all this, are you? Oh, yeah. You're not. <laughs> You're not. Uh, oh, you haven't. Oh, that's, that's mean. That's taking advantage of an old lady. <laughs> I think she's daft enough to be taken advantage of. <laughs> okay, any more? Nope. Thank you very much. I'm not telling you any more secrets.